So, I think that Full Power Freezer is gonna be a premium Bandai exclusive figure release. Now, That's right, I said it. Now, I know how we feel about premium Bandai. You know, at this point, it is what it is. But I want y'all to follow me on this. And also, for the people that may not know how I even know that this figure, or think that this figure is going to be released, I'm going to show you guys a couple of, of statements and things of that nature, and then we're going to get into the theory. So right now, we're on the Tamashii Nation's website, and we're on this website because some of the evidence that I'm going to put forth is here in this article, specifically when they first revealed this figure. This Namek Saga Super Saiyan Goku, right? So in this part of the article, they're talking about the articulation and whatnot. But if we scroll a little bit, look what it says. With well, these evolution points, it is possible to reproduce many of the fierce hand-to-hand -hand battles shown with full power Frieza in play. Now, what could they mean by that? Because as far as we know, nothing has been revealed even up to this date at the point of this recording. So that must mean that they have intentions on releasing that full power freezer. So that's one check right there. And I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit because they mention it again. In addition to sculpting and movement of the main body, we, all, we also paid attention to the accessories so that you can enjoy Goku in the battle against freezer to the fullest. If that doesn't confirm it, I don't know what does. But there's something interesting about the accessories portion. Cause I thought this was weird when it was first released or first revealed rather, but I kind of pushed it to the back of my mind. So right now we're looking at the different face plates that this Goku comes with, right? And so you see he comes with a stern face, cocky smirking face, gritting teeth face, and a yelling face, right? But doesn't it something seem like it's missing? Now, follow me on this. We're going to go to the Instagram and we're going to look at the other pictures of Goku. Okay, so we're on the Instamashi page on Instagram, as redundant as that sounded. But the reason why we're here is for this particular post. This is when they first revealed the Super Saiyan End of Namek Saga Goku. And I'm going to swipe through the pictures to see if you see any accessories that you think should be here but are missing. So, I'm not going to swipe back through, but in case you didn't catch it, one of his most iconic looks for this look of Goku is missing. Now, what is that? The windswept hair and him looking down solemnly at Full Power Frieza. Now, when it was first revealed, I was like, hmm, that's very odd that they didn't include that look. That was a very iconic look for Goku at that moment, at that point in time. And Namek. I was like, why would they not include that? And then I just kind of dismissed it in my head because we already had, a, I had already seen a couple of cool third party options with the windswept hair, AKA Fang Studio. But I, that got me to thinking, I was like, nah, that's a really important piece not to include in the packaging. So basically where I'm going with this is that that is most likely going to come with full power freezer. Now we see that when a, a figure comes with an accessory for another figure that has a tendency to be what? Premium Bandai. And it's the perfect opportunity. There's no better figure for that faceplate and windswept hair to come with. And I don't know what to say besides that. It sucks. But on the bright side, I can see that full power freezer being very jam packed with accessories. It could potentially come with, uh, what is it, his death saucer? AKA his version of the Kienzan or Destructo Disc. And also maybe it'll have a mechanism where <laughs> his, his arm gets cut off. He has a, like a cut off arm and like you can detach his lower waist, I mean his legs from his upper body because he did cut himself in half with his own move. Which would give it even more precedence to be a premium banner because it's like, oh, look at all of this advanced technology and whatnot that we put in there. But either way, with that being said, this was a rather shorter discussion video. It wasn't a whole lot to say here, but I just wanted to put forth this notion because I thought it was pretty interesting. And then also, you know, <laughs> just, ment just ment mentally prepare yourself, uh, 
I'm not gonna say disappointment, but you know, I know a lot. Like I said, a lot of people don't like premium Bandai, so just me mentally prepare yourself for that. But with that being said, peace, and I always appreciate you guys for watching the videos.